it's your girl loco loves here welcome or welcome back to my channel where we do all things planner organization and lifestyle related so grab a cuppa grab your planner um and also let me know what you're doing while you're watching this i love um watching like when i'm daily planning and doing like other stuff for my planner i just love having youtube on in the background so let me know what your routine is um when you're watching like planning videos or do you just watch that random i don't know let me know let me know because i i'm like a structured babe and i love like having that little routine having like a, well i don't have a tea right now i have a monster which they're really bad but yeah they're not that good for you <laughs> but i need the energy today it's just so hot and what's my point yeah it's just so hot and um yeah it's just really really hot and i need energy to last me okay week 34 was last week um so yeah this is the journal that i did that week and then i'll hear it and i'm thinking like where did this go all right cool so this is the agenda slash schedule spread for last week i didn't stick to it but i just again i don't really use this for reference but i kind of just like sitting down and doing it and just having a look at what my ideal week um potentially looks like i kind of just added this um i'm really into like not manifestations but like i guess they're i get i don't know positive affirmations and like those sorts of positive things so i'm gonna just keep putting them throughout my planner um and this is what last week um the um last week's spread looks like i didn't really make that many changes um to it from what you saw when we did it before i did update it a little bit though so i'm really liking how my spreads have been looking um recently yeah i'm really getting into the zone so this <laughs> this habit checker last week basically my boyfriend was around like pretty much every day and i've told him like babe you're not with like a spontaneous chick like you're with a girl who loves structure who needs to know like because when he comes around it does change my, <laughs> it changes my schedule a lot so this week like literally even today i told him like babe you need to let me know when you're coming over so i can like plan and adjust my schedule so this has been a mess to be fair I didn't like um since he was around like i didn't wake up before eight most days i didn't like really do an am routine i did not exercise at uh, exercise on monday i read quite a bit this week actually which was nice um calorie deficit in the bin um <laughs> i did have a lot of sleep which is good but yeah so like this whole checker i'm kind of glad that i didn't do it because it would have been a hot mess anyway um basically so yeah so that was last week so moving on to this week i literally just done my um week 35 or technically it's week 34 but my um journal for this week and looking into what i need to do next week so next week i'm looking to do project 50 which is like a trend slash challenge on instagram uh, on tiktok it's also i'm sure it's on other places i mean there's like a whole website dedicated to it so i'm sure other people are doing it but i'll probably go into it when i'm doing my um habits so right now i'm going to use my um little friendly design stickers to create my agenda for next week so we're gonna kick off with that first i have my, ut my utensils out already so that it's oh sorry guys so that we're flowing and all that jazz and it's quite like nice so oh my gosh i'm in such a good mood arsenal won yesterday so obviously that's like i'm an arsenal supporter so that was great what am i doing oh yeah so i'm gonna i have my you guys can't see but i've got my macbook open in front of me and i'm just gonna open up my air calendar and and yeah so like i have a basic structure similar to i mean one day i probably i might do a video but it's just i have all my addresses and stuff um i know most people don't actually use the address function on the iCal, but i do um because it helps with the like travel time when i'm calculating the travel time because i i use the time blocking method um of organizing let me know if you're into that um and yeah so i i have like a i like using the iCal because i can move things around um and physically see what the day kind of looks like um so yeah i hope that made sense guys so my plan <laughs> for next week right so i'm a secondary school teacher i'll say it every video I'll say that every video but i'm a secondary school teacher and um next week um is so thursday's results day and then wednesday i'm also doing like a year 11 transition so year 10s the last year last year year 10s are transitioning into year 11 so i'll be helping them 
um so i'm in school wednesday thursday so i thought i might as well go to school monday like for the whole week basically because the week after um is like like back back to school kind of thing so i mean you'll see next week when i do that plan you'll see what i mean by that so my plan in my head my idea for next week is to kind of like i've really been on holiday mode and i'm really really happy because normally even during summer holidays my mind is kind of like work 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 so i'm actually really really proud of myself that like i've actually managed to chill relax and like had a good holiday but next week my plan is to kind of get into the routine of things so i do wake up at four <laughs> so like on like normal school days like when i'm working so i'm thinking to do that again so we're gonna start our am am routine again and we are gonna go back to our 4 a.m routine monday so my boyfriend's today's sunday the 21st and my boyfriend's actually coming around today so i'm that's probably gonna go at the at the bin so i probably will say let's say i want to go to the gym at nine so let's say I, I wake up at seven clean and then i'll be up by 8 30 and go to the gym by nine yeah on the monday and then the rest of the week even if he comes over or not i need to be disciplined <laughs> so and i need to let him know that as well 4 a.m i do my morning routine if you've got like a routine um insert because i really want to start um like really laying out my routines in the morning and the afternoon especially because i know that it's changing so my morning routine normally consists of me i want to start reading um as part of a routine i don't know if that's gonna happen in the morning because i do wake up so early um but getting ready for work cleaning basically um yeah and then gym i guess that's technically part of my morning routine so monday if i get to gym at nine and then the rest of the week at five And then we gonna work. We gonna work. So let's say one o'clock. My boyfriend's a teacher as well, so um, worst case scenario, like we'll just go somewhere basically and work. So if I get to gym at five, let's say half an hour, let's say. If I'm doing, let's say, two hours at the gym, five to six, and then let's say half an hour. So let's say 7.30. That's per that works out quite perfectly, actually. 7.30, I get to work. But yeah, I like to leave the weekend free because my week has, it just has so much structure to it. Um, And then I do grocery shop Um, in the middle of the week. So that's Thursday. And then... But then when school starts in the next two weeks, that will be subject to change because my timetable is changing. But I don't know, like, how, to what degree, basically. I don't know how to what degree is changing. So, yeah. And then I also grocery shop on a Saturday. But again, don't really know, like, what time. Um, that will be just as of yet. And then, because I'm waking up so early... I'm going to start my evening routine quite early as well and start sleeping at around um, or get in bed around 7. So I'll start my PM routine at about 6 every day. That includes Monday because I need to wake up on the Tuesday quite early as well. Um, I tend to leave Friday night. And to be fair, I am going out on Friday as well. So I'm going to leave Friday. Yeah, so I'm, actually, I'm going out with the girls on Friday. Um, some girls from work who actually actually need to message them to catch up to see where we're going. But we're going out on Friday night. Um, and I love a page flag, you know. Like, I've really been actually using them for their use. <laughs> and it's been really nice to move, like, like to um, have things that are, like, scheduled but not, like, set in stone. So I guess we're going around five, maybe six. I mean, I'm a such, like, an early bird i love like whoever invented like day drinking and all of that sort of stuff like day stuff that's my bestie because um going at like who would have thought you could go out at like three four five o'clock and flip in have a great time and then be back in like back literally in bed have a shower whatever and be in bed by like 11 12 o'clock at night like fantastic so i'm just gonna put um i'm gonna leave space for a sticker so out 
these goodies. Just pop a little sticker on there. These are all Color Cafe. So these are drink stickers. And I'll just pull up one on top there. Cool, yeah, so a bit of a page, page flag. If that changes to Saturday, for example, or moves up or down, like, the time, then I can just move it. Beauty, beautiful. Okay, just gonna do my lines. Okay, and that's what my schedule is looking like. What a beauty. What I will do, and I did this last time, and I kind of liked it, is um, where I've got the set, the weekend blank, I'm just gonna put, like, last time I put a quote, um, but this time I'm just gonna put a scripture on there. See, it fits, it fits quite nicely. Let me move it over a little bit, actually. Over there. Then I just find this the best um, pen to write with. It's the uni pin, oil-based pen. So anything kind of transparent, that te transparent texture. Okay, so that's Joshua 1.9. It says, be strong and courageous. Do not be dismayed or frightened for the Lord is, your God is with you wherever you go. I just thought that looks quite cute. So, and obviously, it's quite nice looking back um, and seeing that when I flip through my planner because I do flip through it quite often because it is just so gorgeous. So, I'm moving on. Next, and this is technically the last—not even technically. This is the last week of um, this is the last week of August technically. Um, so I mean, I said technically, but. It really is the last week of August. Um, so next week, we're gonna we've got to look forward to a new month. And obviously September, for me as a teacher, is um, it's like a brand new year. It's like a proper new start because obviously it's the beginning of the new a new academic year. So I start to build new routines, etc., etc. It's just very fresh for me, and I, I love that. So I kind of get two new New Years. Okay, so I'm um, just gonna grab some utensils <laughs> sorry i don't know what's wrong with me guys right so this is this color scheme we're going for okay um so just gonna look back um and this is yeah so we begin 22nd so i literally it's kind of i don't know if it's sad or not because i say this all the time but i literally have three sets of dated well these aren't dated but i kind of Date them myself three sets of weeklies in my planner i have these um the like what we just did the schedule and then my weekly spread is that chaotic is that i don't know let me let me know but i just feel like i can't function without all three um actually anyway let me not even go into that conversation so yeah i'm going to use this as reference obviously this these are pre-planned um and i kind of i guess i'll show you i've never actually done this with you guys so i'll probably show you how i do this um, in my September planning kind of routine and show you how I actually like plan my month so yeah so I'm gonna use this basically because there's a lot going on I mean is it a lot we'll see we'll see right so, so um no so what I'm gonna start doing am I gonna start doing this how big is this so you know it is the gray is beautiful but I'm not using green. I'm gonna use this colour like the closest to these. Oh, is it the same colour? Don't don't piece me off. Is it the same? <gasps> Guys, no, it's not the same. It's not the same at all. But it's it's fairly close. So I'm gonna put this here. Um, and I'm gonna put project 50 because that's like the big thing. So I'm gonna post on TikTok every day. So follow me. I created a new TikTok for like non-teach related stuff. So make sure you follow me. It's local loves lifestyle. Um, yeah, yeah. And then we'll see what the crack is with that. And then let's do the sides first. So main goals for this week. So project fifty. So. So my priorities would be gym, diet, and sleep. Because I guess water would be part of the diet, wouldn't it? Um, what do I need to do this week? I need to do my budget because I get paid soon on Friday. Um, I need to call my mum. Probably call my... Oh, let's get into 
the meat. So I'm expecting um, two things. Again, just the beauty of page flags. I'm gonna need to order another set soon. So, getting a color dot order. And a cloth and paper order. Okay. So now I'm just going to put, should we use angel cake? Yeah, because I don't think we've used angel cake. We've used coffee cake. Oh, we have used angel cake. Strawberry cake's not been used, but strawberry cake. Mm. We'll use that one of these. Let's say this middle one. We'll start with this. Mm, no, we'll start with this. Mm, no, let's use angel cake. Right. These stickers are from the Colour Dot. Um, I can't find a single fault with them. I absolutely love them. <laughs> Hence why I place like another order. Um, and I'm expecting that next week. Delivery is super, super quick if you're in the UK. Um, and I think they deliver internationally um, as well. So yeah. Right, so I'm just going to put um, dot stickers. Um, the No, okay. I am all over the place. I'm absolutely all over the place. Firstly, I am going to pop some stickers where... Um, some bigger stickers where are they some drop stickers where key events are going to be but wednesday i'm doing year 11 transition thursday i'm doing year 11 transition and it's gcc results and then friday um i'm getting paid so wednesday thursday and friday i'm going to put these stickers down and i think i need to place like a sticker order um with little friendly designs for payday because I just don't know how I don't have a payday sticker. I do, but it doesn't, like, go. Like, it's really small. Cool. That's that. And I'm just going to write down what those events are and put stickers on them. I'll do the stickers after, actually. Um, I don't know if I was sleeping or what, but I put these stickers on Saturday by accident. Like, literally what they are. So, let me... I've got a spare one here which I didn't notice but I'm actually going to put that on Sunday because Sunday's actually kind of a weekend I'm actually not I haven't got any like um plan plans well literally okay I have no plans basically for kind of a weekend my, oh my gosh my hand just cramped no look at that what the hell look no seriously been like writing and working too long that was so weird, guys. Oh, my gosh. What the hell? I can still feel it. It's trying to cramp. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> um, So, Friday, it's payday. And it's also... Oh, yeah. So, I'm also going out with the girls. Um, And then, Sunday is a carnival weekend. Okay, so now I'm just going to put dot stickers... Um, where um i've got like little to do's for the week nothing major just things that i need to um get done on a specific day so this is a what um my weekly spread is looking like quite beautiful if you do ask me but obviously i'm very very biased um it's quite a busy week um but at the same time not that busy if that makes sense so when i do my dailies you'll see um because I, I like putting my to-dos on here i might switch up um but we'll see we'll see okay so last thing oh and um sorry i just added um there's an arsenal match arsenal versus fulham on saturday at five okay so last thing is my habit tracker and like i said earlier i am doing a um the project 50 challenge so I'm going to implement a lot of the habits um, on from like all a lot of the targets basically on. These are the habits that I'd like to track um, from tomorrow. So from Monday next week. 
and it's um i kind of just these are from the project 50 well some of them are from project 50 and i kind of just adapted them to make sense but it's strictly project 50 basically so wake up before 8 a.m um the specific thing is like having a morning routine with no distractions so not using your phone in, in the morning but obviously i'm not going to put all the details down but i know what i mean by that am routine um an hour of exercise um daily which i've planned um to do reading i've already planned i've been quite good at that this week that's been like a problem and i've not really been reading but this week i actually did pretty good um with that um a new skill um or goal and then I've basically used that as like um, uploading on TikTok every day. So obviously I've got a teacher TikTok, which is great. Um, and that's really like, make sure you follow me on there, Sloco Loves. Um, and I've got, um, you know, quite a nice following on there. But I really I want to do like this, like more aesthetic TikTok, something related to like my planning and organisational side. So start a new TikTok, Loco Loves Lifestyle. So make sure you follow me on there. Um, and I want to upload every day. So that's that. And with that TikTok, like with my school like my teacher content i don't really need to like edit and like do anything special to it i just kind of like record bits and bobs and just upload it but with this tiktok i'm gonna kind of like make it a bit more nice and yeah so part of the new skill and goal thing is like editing and making things look nice so we'll see how that goes um being a calorie deficit so it says stick to a healthy diet to healthy diet to me it means you know calorie deficit saying and and um being on my macros um no takeout kind of like links to that and then um uh, journaling every day so i said before but like i don't really journal and i'm not i don't I just don't think i'm that type of person but saying at least like three things that i'm grateful for yes and actually infinite lotus have these like inserts these daily like review inserts i kind of want to have a look at I, i'm i'd much rather review, i'm more analytical than like creative i feel like i'm not creative enough to journal every day um but i am quite analytical and logical so i could definitely do like a, a review of my day so i'm going to check out those inserts and maybe order some um and then eight hours of sleep as per usual two days of work as per usual cleaning task i'm going to make sure that i'm doing it every day taking my pill every day and no um spend obviously i'm getting paid on friday and i'm going out the weekend might be a myth and on thursday i'll probably do a grocery shop so the beginning of the week hopefully plan not to spend anything so yeah yeah and that is it so i'm going to quickly flip through the last full week of the month um so yeah i did this earlier today so sunday i kind of like to do like a um review review like a journal weekly journal that's been working very quick very nice very easy nothing too fancy then this is what my weekly agenda for next week looks like i did a script chart and obviously my arsenal match very important to me <laughs> all the stickers are from um um little friendly design and then this beauty is my weekly spread and this is um pretty much what i reference um day to day and then actually since we're here because this is literally what i'm going to do next is that plan for tomorrow so i've been using these dailies from um rosie pepper tree i i'm obsessed with them i love them i will probably be getting the 2023 like all the dates for 2023 so do you know what i'm not going to record it because this video is probably long enough um but when i do my um september like i probably will do a flip when i'm changing um and prepping everything for september so you'll kind of see what i do with this so yeah guys yeah thank you for planning week 35 with me i hope you have uh, i hope you really enjoyed it and i will see you in my next one bye guys Mwah.